what I like best about the Terry and Jesse show is that it revives my hope in men to be godly men. It's a really good show because it's relatable to family life daily life it's encouraging it's like cheerleading also for catholics but number one the reason i like it because you guys aren't afraid to speak the truth you are both the most compassionate hosts i've ever heard and as a jewish convert i am a much better informed catholic thank you terry and jesse i just think it's the best thing that we have here in la it's awesome i'm hooked welcome to the terry and jesse show we invite you to this holy hour of power We're two Catholics with PhDs in common sense. And you know what? Common sense ain't that common. Our program is not right versus left. It's right versus wrong. And this is actually Catholicism for the blue-collar man. We want to encourage you. We want to enlighten you. And we want to offer you solutions. As a matter of fact, people say, Terry, where do you get that energy? I'll tell you where I get the energy from my Catholic faith. I'm I'm excited. This is not a pre-recorded program on President's Day. I had my day off yesterday, okay, Sunday. I'm ready to rock and roll and preach in the gospel. I want to share this good news with you, and that's what we can do today. My brother Jesse's doing just that right now. He's in Texas at another mission, and uh, he just never stops either. And it's just, you know, we, we, the two of us, we have um, our, our big vacation time. Uh, we know what our big vacation is? When we get to heaven. And thank you, Jesus, for that opportunity. Today's topics, well, number one, I'm sure you heard that Justice Antonio Scalia was found dead at age 79, a Supreme Court justice, father of nine children. And he's a hero of the pro-life, pro-family Americans. He was found dead Saturday at a resort in West Texas. His passing was confirmed by a statement from the Chief Justice John Roberts. He was an extraordinary individual. He, He admired him and treasured him. His passing is a great loss to the court and the country. He was so loyally served. Let's say a prayer for his eternal rest. Grant unto him, O Lord, and let the perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. I want to share one little clip it from him because it, I was really impressed. As I said, he's a father of nine. One of his kids, a Catholic priest. He was an ardent defender of faith, life, and family. And he was the longest uh, serving justice. And I, I love it because he wasn't shy about expressing his beliefs. You know what he implemented? What Pope Francis, excuse me, what Pope John Paul II said, Americans need lay Christians able to assume the roles of leadership in society. It is an urgent to train men and women who in keeping their vocation can influence the public life and direct it to the common good. That's what he did. He implemented. He also implemented what Pope Francis said, get your hands dirty. Get involved with the political process. So in January of 2015, he told students that there's no place in the U.S. Constitution for privileged secularism over religion. The idea of banishing religion from the public square, it's absurd. Why don't you really tell me what you think? I love it. He says, you know, for his straightforward style and originalist interpretation of the Constitution, he says, to tell you the truth, there's no place for that in our constitutional tradition. Where did that come from? To be sure, you can favor one denomination over another, but you can't favor religion over non-religion? Uh, I don't think so. I also, later, I'm going to talk about how his belief in uh, heaven and hell and in the devil. Also, just so you know, I heard on the news that he did receive last rites from a Texas priest. Uh, Reverend Mike Aquilino served at the parish and was several uh, several missions nearby. He said that he did give the uh, the last rites to our friend and defender of life, or the Supreme Court Justice Antonio Scalia. Also, we're going to talk about the Pope's visit to Mexico. Wow, I don't speak Spanish, but all my good friends, who's my engineer, he speaks Spanish, and while he was telling the uh, speaking, he was translating for me. Wow, Pope Francis, we're going to pray for your safety. You said things that if anybody else would have said that in Mexico... They would have been dead because he was a he was basically making the government accountable for the corruption in Mexico and saying, stop it. You've got blood money on your hands. You're feeding your kids with blood money. He also said, look, why is it that everybody's leaving your country to go to other countries like America? You know what it is? It's because you guys are corrupt. He called a spade a spade. In other words, Pope Francis didn't beat around the bush. I'm thinking we need to pray for his safety because he's saying things that 
the drug cartel people are very upset with. But what I love about Pope Francis is he doesn't mix words. He says it so clearly that, look, cut it out. This is wrong. I think uh, the Pope Francis would be right with us on our, our comment when we say the Terry and Jesse show is not right versus left. It's right versus wrong. He's telling him this is wrong. So if you'd like to join in on what Pope Francis is doing in Mexico, give us a call at 888-526-2151. That's 888 526 Five one. I also want to talk, if I have time, also the third topic is uh, an early Lenten meditation on spiritual warfare by Monsignor Charles Pope. You've, we've used him for years. He is unbelievable. This is awesome material. You're not going to want to miss what he has to say on that. I want to just uh, mention that Saturday I have a sixth show that I do for EWTN. I will not be doing it at the end of the month. Am I, uh, I'll have Saturdays off. Uh, from radio, so I'll just be doing five days a week for Immaculate Heart Radio, which I'm honored to do. But that's going to let me be able to go to your parish and your events on weekends, so God's will be done. I have a brochure called Light the Fire of Evangelization at Your Parish. If you think uh, I have a little energy in the radio, you should see me when you meet me. I This is all about fight, helping people fall in love with God. I have a How to Share Your Faith with Anyone seminar. And it basically is uh, done on a Saturday. If you'd like me to come and be at your parish, just email Terry at Saint, S-A-I-N-T, J-O-E dot com or call the 877-526-2151. The, the CD set that I'm giving away is what I did on Saturday. Dr. Scott Hahn did a series called How to Get the Most Out of the Mass. It's four CDs, but I thought, you know, with Lent, what can you do? Maybe this is your first week right now in Lent. You're going... Gee, what can I do to help my spiritual life? Well, as your spiritual fitness trainers, Jesse and myself, we give all kinds of CDs away. But right now, I want to give How to Get the Most Out of the Mass by Dr. Scott Hahn. I'll give you two copies. It's from a four-CD set. And you might want to get the complete set at a discounted rate because this will help you. By the time Easter Sunday comes, you're going to have a great knowledge about the Mass and your love for the Mass and your love for Holy Communion. Call 877-526-2151. I'm going to tell you a miracle that took place. Yes, it's a miracle. I was talking on Saturday about when you miss one Holy Communion, um, consider what you lose every time you pass up that opportunity to receive our Lord and Holy Communion worthily. And it's a little document I gave away. I said, if you want it, I'll give it to you. You just email terry at stjoe.com. Hundreds of people asked for it. I'm going to tell you about those 10 points, and believe me, if this doesn't motivate you to fall deeper in love with Jesus Christ in the Mass, nothing will. And I will tell you this, you know, I can talk about the political things right now, that's fine, but I'd rather talk about what gets you to heaven. And right now, this is Lent. The Eucharist is the source and summit of the Christian life. So let's talk about the Eucharist. Here's one and this has been approved by the uh, Bishop of, the, of uh, Chicago, December 6th, 1940. I'll have it, if you want a copy of this after I mention it to you, just email terry at stjoe.com and I'll, I'll get you a copy. So here it is. When you miss, when you, when you, for, you, you miss an opportunity to receive Holy Communion, you're missing a personal visit with Jesus, the author of all spiritual energy and of all holiness. That's number one. Number two you lose a special increase of sanctifying grace, which makes your soul more pleasing to God, which makes you an actual participator in God's own divine life. What is the divine life? That's grace, okay? Sanctifying grace. Why do I say this is important? Because all the other issues of life will follow. You're going to vote with the Catholic mindset. You're going to be charitable with the Christ mindset if you fall in love with Jesus Christ. So all the other issues of the world will come in place when Catholics live out their faith fervently. Number three. Oh my gosh, this is great. You lose a quota of sacramental grace, which entitles you to special help in times of temptation and in the faithful discharge of your daily duties. Mom, Dad, our daily duties, like right now, I'm helping my wife. She's not feeling well. I'm taking good care of her right now. But I'm serving God by serving her. So, when we have Holy Communion, I was able to get to Mass early this morning at our chapel. Receive Jesus, Jesus, help me serve my family well. You can do the same thing. If 
you're able to get to Mass, always realize that the Eucharist is going to help you be faithful to your discharges of your daily duty. Number four, you lose a precious opportunity of having your venial sins wiped away. Whoa, how many Catholics have been told that? I'm listening. Nobody. I know. Not very many. Why do I say that? I don't know why it hasn't, but this is what our Catholic faith teaches. And so I got a microphone right now, and I'm telling everybody about the Eucharist. I'm one of those guys that if if two people in the room, one person was in the room, I'd tell you this, because it's true. I'm going to give you the others. uh, Number five, after the break, I just want to remind everybody, I know last week we had had, uh, Carmen from... Veritas Cruises talk about our trip on the seven-day round-trip California Coastal Cruise on the Crown Princess, April 16th to the 23rd. You're welcome to join us for a whole week with Jesse and his wife, my wife, and myself. We get to eat together. We get to pray together, mass, adoration, confession. It's going to be a great experience for all of us. If you want to go, just uh, contact Carmen at 805-526-6565. Or go to Carmen at VeritasCruises.com. And if you like to get the CDs that I'm giving away, how to get the most out of the Mass, it's my favorite with Dr. Hahn. He teaches you from the beginning of the Mass to the end, a biblical view of the Mass. Go ahead and call 877-526-2151. I'll repeat, 877-526-2151. Or go online to CatholicRC.org. And if you want to join in on the conversation about the papal visit, about any of the topics, spiritual warfare and Lent, call 878. We'll call you in advance. We'll be right back. CRC.org. Thanks for your donations. Let's have it happen again and again and again. God love you. Welcome back to the Terry and Jesse show. I mentioned my brother Jesse's in Texas preaching the word of God. So I'm here with my guardian angel. And this is not a pre-recorded show. All the shows I've heard are pre-recorded, but not us. You can call us at 888-526-2151. If you want to talk about the Pope's trip to Mexico and how brutally blunt he is in Mexico to the people of Mexico's government, wow, he's saying things that if my studio engineer from Mexico said he wouldn't, he wouldn't come back to work here, he'd be dead. The Pope is very brave, and I want to acknowledge that. Also, we're talking about the news about Justice Antonio Scalia, found dead at age 79. He's the Supreme Court Justice, father of nine children, and I say a hero of pro-life and pro-family Americans. One of his sons is a Catholic priest. That tells you a little bit about the judge. So we pray for his eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let the perpetual light shine upon him, and may he rest in peace. I'm talking about the Eucharist, and what I'm talking about is when you miss one Holy Communion. When I'm done with this, I'm going to talk right into, I'm going to go into the early Lenten meditations on spiritual warfare, since this is Lent. Number five thing you get when you miss miss, uh, the Holy Communion devoutly. You miss a special preserving influence, which each Holy Communion confers against the fires of unruly human passion. Things like anger, lust, envy, greed. Does that relate to anybody out there in Radio Land? It sure relates to me, everybody. Man, but you know what? You have to ask for that grace and receive Holy Communion with devotion and love. Number six, you miss the opportunity of having remitted a part of all your temporal punishment due to sin. Whoa, that's a benefit out of this world, isn't it? Wow, man, you're, you're staying purgatory. Short, man, have a good devotion to the Eucharist. Go to Holy Mass. You lose the, number seven, you lose the spiritual joy, the sweetness, and particular comfort that comes from receiving a fervent and devout Holy Communion. You know what spiritual joy is? You got it right here, right now. I'm stoked because I'm in love with Jesus Christ. I was able to receive Holy Communion. I want to tell the whole world about Jesus and the Eucharist. I get to do it through the radio. And you could tell others about it too. Because I'm encouraging you to study the Mass. It's a lifetime occupation. Dr. Scott Hahn did that series, How to Get the Most Out of the Mass. You want to get the first copy of it? I'll give you two copies, one for you and one to give away. Because that's how it spreads. It's free. You just pay the shipping and the handling. Dr. Scott Hahn, wow, he's a biblical view at the Mass. Call 877-526-2151. Number eight, you lose part of the glory that your body might otherwise enjoy 
at its resurrection on the last day. Did you hear that? Yes. You're going to lose. Oh, my gosh. Part of the glory that your body might otherwise have on the resurrection of the last day. Number nine, you lose the great degree of glory you would possess in heaven for all eternity. You know, there's different levels in heaven. But having devotion to the mass, the Eucharist, man, you're going to, there's big benefits. Number 10, I really like, there's a lot of sections here. You may lose a complete victory over some fault or passion, some particular grace long prayed for. Folks, if you're still praying, get to Mass, receive Holy Communion devoutly. Number uh, 10 also has, this is, the Mass is the conversion of salvation of some souls that you're praying for, a deliverance of a relative or friend from purgatory, many graces for others, both living and the dead. One Mass? Yes! That's how important the Mass is. You know, so here's my bottom line. Well, a few extra minutes of sleep. Am I trying to make you feel guilty? No, I'm trying to make you realize what's important in life. A hundred years from now, do you really think watching YouTube kitty cats is going to be as important as getting up and going to Holy Mass or wasting some other time on the Internet? Because uh, the Internet is very entertaining. But what are the benefits? Are they out of this world? Not like the Mass. So will a few extra minutes of sleep repay you for all those losses? Or what spiritual riches do hundreds of thousands of Catholics deprive themselves daily by neglecting Holy Mass? At the hour of their death, here's what it says, our greatest consolation will be the Masses we have heard and the Holy Communions we've received worthily. And this is with the ecclesial approval of the Archdiocese of Chicago, December 6th, 1940. I wasn't even around at the time, but I got it. And I'm going to read one more thing from Father John Harden on the Eucharist uh, a little in a, in a minute or here, but... My point is, it's important to have a love for the Eucharist. And I, I've done this at Catholic Masses all over the country where I've asked people what they believe about the Eucharist. And I hate to tell you, most Catholics haven't a clue. And I don't know why, for whatever reason, but I want them to understand what the Catholic Church teaches. Like Saturday, a lady called and said, I didn't know about the real presence. I signed up for Eucharistic adoration. I didn't even know what it was. When I went there, I started reading the literature while I'm there before Jesus. And I went, whoa, this is Jesus. And she fell head and, ho- head and heels over in love with Jesus in the Eucharist. That's important. That's why we want to promote Eucharistic adoration for our country, for the world, and devotion to the Eucharist. If you'd like to join in, the toll-free number is 888-526-2151. That's 888-526-2151. Five two six two one five one. If you want to get Dr. Hahn's teachings, and before I go to Moses in Bakersfield, I want to mention Dr. Hahn is a great teacher. And I, I, I think of it this way. I'm on the air five days a week here. I'm trying to get people motivated to fall deeper in love with Jesus Christ. I use Bishop Sheen, Scott Hahn, and many others to get people formed. Because I know without formation, you're lost. I am without good formation. That's why I want to encourage you to get Dr. Hahn set on how to get the most out of the Mass, a four-CD set. I'll give you two copies of the first CD. Call 877-526-2151. I'm going to discount the set by about $8 if you get the set. So I just want you to have this Lent. Maybe this Lent, if you haven't made a resolution, what you're going to get, you know, give up, I say, why don't you get? Why don't you get a better knowledge of the source and summit of the Christian life, the Holy Mass? You have Dr. Han teach you. Call 877-526-2151. Moses in Bakersfield, welcome to the Terry and Jesse Show. Good morning, Terry. Hey, brother. What's on your mind? I uh, just wanted to thank you and Jesse for all that you've done for everyone <laughs> listening to the Terry and Jesse Show. I don't know if you remember me, but I was at the Spiritual Warfare Conference with my brother Abraham. I sure remember you now, brother, when you said Abraham. Yeah, because I said <laughs> both you guys have great names. Yes, it hit me. Sure. Thank you. And oh, um, you. I really love what you're talking about today. You know, going to church has been one of the things that, help, that has helped me come back to our Catholic faith. You know, I was a, I'm a cradle Catholic, but I had my, my doubts about the Catholic Church and you know, going back to church was one of the ways that I was able to come back to our faith, you know, and praying the rosary. You know, the, about a week ago, you guys spoke about um, praying the Chaplet of Divine Mercy. Amen. And um, 
pray in the chapter of divine mercy help me come come back also and also to start praying the rosary because that was one of the things that i was confused about the most but and also just wanted to also um comment that having that love for jesus is is what's helped me come back you know and Thanks. the virgin mary is the one that you know best imitates the love for for jesus and you know i also wanted to recommend the the book imitation of christ oh, i just started, run. <laughs> yeah i just started that book and it's so amazing it's so amazing <laughs> i love moses you did i man, moses you got me so excited because this is see we were going we were going to a lot of people will do a pre-recorded show on a holiday, but this is the very reason why we're doing a live show for you to call in and inspire others to fall deeper and deeper in love with Jesus Christ. Moses, I'm so glad you called an imitation of Christ. Everybody should have a copy of that. After the Bible, that's the next book you should have on your, well, that and the catechism, an imitation of Christ. So, Moses, thank you. And just so you know, any good that Jesse Romero, Terry Barber does comes from God. We thank him for it, brother. And we're honored because, you know what, life is short and eternity is forever. To have you come back to the church is the greatest thing that I can hear anybody say to me. And I just want to thank you for that, Moses. God bless our Lord, Terry. Hey, thank man, you brother. So much. God love you. Before we go to Ed in Sacramento, I've got good news, everybody. I mentioned earlier that my brother Jesse Romero is on his way to Texas, but I think he landed because he is on the line. I want to bring Jesse Romero here through his phone. Yeah. Jesse, welcome, brother. How's my how's my brother with the same spiritual mother, huh? <laughs> oh, Jesse, I'm I'm too blessed to be stressed. I didn't even know you were calling it. Everybody, I mentioned Jess is on his way to Texas, and here that guy's probably at the air. Jess, tell us what you're doing. Yeah. I want the people to know I what just, you're doing. I just landed in Houston, Texas. <laughs> I'm on my way to Alice, Texas, uh, yeah. to uh to do a parish mission at Our Lady of Guadalupe Church. Right. I've been busy, Terry. I mean, I've been hitting the pavement, uh, this land and stuff. I've been from one place to another. I think I was at five different, uh, <laughs> uh, five or six different talks this weekend. <laughs> and uh, I just pray that my voice holds out. Yeah. And I just want to call and check in because uh, Immaculate Heart Radio, that, that's headquarters for us. So I just want to make sure that Good, yeah, yes. people know that I'm out there pounding the pavement. I'm not out there scratching my belly uh, playing in the golf course. Hey, Gary, me don't do that. You no, know, we and I told him that earlier in the show. It's funny you should say that, Jesse. I got to tell people that you know we could have put a pre-recorded show on today, and we didn't. And we're getting uh, such good calls from folks about the mass and about the uh, the Pope's uh, visit to Mexico, and all obviously this one that uh, the Supreme Court Justice uh, Antonio Scalia his, his being dead and praying for him. But the one I want to really get to is the early Lenten meditations on spiritual warfare. And if I don't get to it today, maybe we'll put it on for tomorrow when Jesse's back, because Monsignor Charles Pope knocks the ball out of the park, Jess. So let's, let, let's just do that. Let's just wait until tomorrow to do that, because it's yeah, so good. Yeah, we'll tomorrow. All I'll, right, brother. I'll be in my hotel somewhere doing the show with you. Terry, did we already pray for uh, Justice Scalia? Twice. <laughs> we can do it again, Jess. Lead it. I'm serious. We, yeah. He's he's a hero of, of mine. Father, Son of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. Eternal rest granted to Justice Scalia, Lord, and let your perpetual light shine upon him. Mm-hmm. May the soul of Justice Scalia, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Mm-hmm. Name of the Father, Son of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Turn just want to let the audience know that we lost we lost a, a lion of the Catholic. Justice Benson Scalia was a lion. Amen, he Jesse. Was most, he was the most vocal pro life, uh, pro natural marriage. Absolutely. Just we got to take a quick break. Thanks for calling in, brother. God love you. We'll be right back. Or go online to catholicrc.org. Thanks for your donations. Let's have it happen again and again and again. God love you. Welcome back to the Terry and Jesse show. As you could hear, Jesse called in from the airport. He's in Texas doing a parish mission. I always say we're too blessed to be stressed, too anointed to be disappointed. And if hope was money... Jesse and Terry would be billionaires. And if you want a T-shirt that says that, (laughs) we do have a T-shirt promoting our show. Just call the 877-526-2151 number, and I would be honored to have you pick up one of those shirts. And also the Scott Hahn CD on how to get the most out of the Mass, because I want this Lent to be the great Lent where you understand the Mass better than you've ever been able to understand it. Before I go to Ed, 
Okay, Ed, I'm going to go to you. And then I've got six-year-old Vanessa. I always let the little ones go ahead. But, Ed, you've been on the line for a while. I've got a long list of people coming on board here. So, Ed, in Sacramento, welcome to the Terry and Jesse Show. Thank you, Terry. I just really want to thank sure. you for talking about the math, but yeah. especially for talking about the degrees of glory in heaven. Oh, yeah. This is something that not a lot of Catholics mention these days. And when I first heard this concept, I mean, wait a minute, you're telling me that there are going to be different degrees of happiness in heaven? I was, I was blown away. And, of course, when I first heard that, I thought, oh, man, well, what if I get like a low, low level and I'm just like not very happy? Well, we know that that's, that's not true. Everyone in heaven is perfectly happy. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's kind of like, as Cardinal Lorenzi explained it this way, if you take a cup of water to the ocean, you're mm-hmm. going to get full a cup of water. That's if you right. take a bucket to the water, a 12-gallon bucket, both are going to be full completely. And so we're all going to have, we're all going to be still completely full, but there are others who will have a greater degree of glory for all eternity because they've responded to God's grace more. And the reason this blew me away, because I used to think, you know, in my teenage years that, that, you know, oh, God is all mercy, I can just go do whatever I want. And before I, you know, when I stand before Jesus, I'm just going to say sorry, and he's going to let me in. Well, first of all, that's that's not accurate. We have to say sorry before we die. Amen. Uh, but, but secondly, uh, you know, God willing, we, we live a life like that uh, and, and do have a chance to repent. We've just, we've wasted all of the graces and, and the place that God has, has prepared for us and the degree we could have had f- with him for all eternity. And, and, and we never hear that much about merit anymore. Yeah. And merit, of course, a lot of people misunderstand it. They think that, uh, you Catholics earn your way to heaven, you earn your degree of glory. That's not at all true. Merit is a free gift of God that he rewards us for cooperating with his grace. So it's all God's grace, but he actually not only gives us his grace, but he rewards us when we re- cooperate with us. And that's the whole idea of merit. And I just, I'm just so thankful that you bring that up, and I hope you continue to talk about it all the time, because we're called to be great saints, and we can't do it by ourselves, but with the Holy Eucharist, when we receive Mass, we can. And so, and I want to, one last thought for, for everybody listening. Mm-hmm. We, all, we all have time. We all invest in certain things in our life. Some of us, maybe we spend a ton of time at the gym because we, we, we put ourselves through pain even. We deny ourselves with certain foods. We even go through so much pain to make our muscles big and, and athletes and they train and prepare. But it's all for something that will pass away. All the hobbies, everything we invest in will pass away, but our time spent in prayer, the little self-denial that we go through of giving up certain pleasures to spend in prayer, uh, will have an eternal benefit. And so if we, we, if time is so short, why don't we just set some of these other hobbies aside and just say, I'm going to give more time to prayer because I want to be a great saint because that's what God wants for me. So that's what I have to say, Terry, and thank you for talking about that. Today. And I only have one thing to say about your statement. Amen, brother. What you said was Great perfect. Time. Keep it up. God love you. We had uh, our six-year-old on line three, and I think we lost her. I should have taken her first, but she ate six years old, and it said on the screen, she wants to know what is the true church. Well, I'm going to answer her question. The true church is the church that Christ started, uh, and it's the Catholic Church, the universal church. There's only one church that was started by Jesus Christ, Matthew 16, 16. And Gemma, I'm, I'm not Gemma, the young lady, Vanessa, six years old, Vanessa, if you call 877-526-2151, I want to give you a catechism on a DVD called Our Catholic Faith that explains all of that to a child using sacred art. Yes, I wish I could have had her on the air, but I guess I took Ed, and uh, that happens sometimes. So if you want to call back, Vanessa, call us at 888-526-2151. And we just got a lot of calls and lying. I'm going to try and get through them all here. But Christopher in Chandler, Arizona, welcome to the Terry and Jesse show. Thank you, Terry, for letting me. Uh, oh, my pleasure, brother. I want to hear from you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love your voice. Love both you and Terry on the, on the radio. You guys have been, been a major influence on me. I've been a long time listener. Good. You know how to talk to men. You know the way the men need to be talked. You're not soft and 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 just beating around a bush. Mm-hmm. But um, all what I want to get to is um. I work for the city here in Chandler, and um, it's an honor and a privilege to uh, to lower these flags, half staff, for Amen. for Amen. for our justice. And and every time I do, I, I say a prayer for him and his family, and also for our country. And um, I idea. just want to say that 
<clears throat> that um, during this blend that you guys helped me shed away my old self, got rid of the video games, got rid of the the Superman hero movies and stuff like that, and I replaced them with with good Catholic um, media that you get off of off of your website. Everything you guys have out there is high quality and it's, it's very inexpensive. Yeah. Um, I wear the Terry and Jesse uh, uh, shirt T-shirts. I got rid of my Batman <laughs> shirt. Don't wear those anymore. Um, put on Jesus. Amen. Really old stuff. Christopher, you you're you. so well. Let me tell you, I want to come to Chandler, Arizona. It's on the way to Tucson for me on Interstate 10. Talk to your Please. pastor and see if if uh, I can come. You call me after the show. Let's talk a little bit. I'm always here after the show. Call the eight seven seven five two six two one five one number because I want. I was just in Phoenix for a mission. Uh, I do these missions called Light the Fire of Evangelization at your parish. And I and and let me tell you something. When I come to Arizona, uh, your bishop, Bishop Homestead, is a personal friend of mine. Uh, I've known him for twenty some years. He loves what the work we're doing, and so your pastor, I'm sure, would be happy. So I want to talk to you. anyone out there in Radio Land wants me to come to their parish. I'm only one person, but as of the first of the month, I won't be doing a Saturday radio show. I'll be at parishes every weekend. So That's Christopher, good. let's chat after the show, brother. Okay. Yes, sir. Yep. God, God, God love you. And if you want to take me to your parish and do the light the fire evangelization at your parish, you know what I do? I just say, I go, look, most Catholics have a hard time sharing their faith. I think everybody agrees with that. Many feel ill-equipped to evangelize because they've never learned how to share their faith or even how to give their own personal testimony. How many of you right now listening have been taught how to give your personal testimony? I'll do that. Now, I will. I produce a seminar that provides Catholics with all the motivation and practical, time-tested communication skills they need to become highly effective evangelizers. With this seminar, and when it's over, your parishioners will be empowered to engage in fruitful dialogue with their family, friends, and coworkers in order to successfully share the love and I might add mercy of Christ with those who do not know Him, and I might add to bring fallen away Catholics back home. I've been working on this for 38 years. I'm ready, willing, and able to come to your parish. Call 877-526-2151. Love to chat with you. Or email Terry, T-E-R-R-Y, at Saint, S-A-I-N-T, Joe, J-O-E. I want to mention one more thing that Father John Harden said about the Eucharist. And this is something I'll give you if you email Terry at SaintJoe.com. Here he says, words from a faithful priest. He says, the Eucharist is Jesus Christ. Simply without qualification. It is God becoming man in the fullness of his divine nature, in the fullness of his human nature, in the fullness of his body and soul, in the fullness of everything that makes Jesus Jesus. He is the Eucharist with his human mind. Check this out. This is so important to understand. United with his divinity. I'm going to use a big word, hypostatic union. But let's talk about this in human mind and his divinity with his hands and feet. See, that's for the theologians. But for Joe Sixpack like me, his face, his features, his eyes, his lips, his ears, his nostrils, with his affections and emotions, with his, with an emphasis, with his loving, pulsating, physical, sacred heart. This is what our Catholic faith demands of us to believe. If we believe this, we're Catholic. If we do not, Father Harden says we're not. No matter what people may think. Father John Harden from a book called Eucharistic Miracles of the World, published by eternal life i read this to you not to get you excited in the sense of wow am i no i want to teach you the beauty of our catholic faith and if you've got a situation in your own life where the mass has touched you in a very powerful way give me a call 888-526-2151 i believe vanessa called back vanessa welcome to our show go right ahead hello vanessa are you there, Vanessa? You. Yeah, and Vanessa, how old are you? Six. Six years old. Well, congratulations. And God bless you. Vanessa, what is your question? <laughs> Can you answer? ask a question, Vanessa? Are you calling for a reason? Okay, I think she's a little what shy. Say that again, Vanessa. What is the church? 
What is the true church? That's a great question. Because you know what? There's thousands of denominations out there. The true church is the church that Christ started. Because if you look at all the other churches, Vanessa, they were started by men or women who started their own church. But there's only one church that has the fullness of the faith of Christianity. And that's the Catholic Church. Because we go back to the time of Christ. So I hope you can understand that simple idea that 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ founded his church, and we're still here today. And he said, the gates of hell shall not take over it. Okay, so that's your answer. It's the Catholic Church. And Vanessa, you're almost at the age of receiving Holy Communion. I want to give you a DVD on the catechism. So your mommy or or your daddy there, call 877-526-2151 after the show, and I'll personally get that for you. Okay, and for everybody else... I'm sorry, I just paid the shipping and the handling. But for Vanessa, she's six years old. When you're six years old, you get it for free. That's my policy. Isn't it nice to be able to make up the policies? Yep. Hey, folks, you're listening to the Terry and Jesse Show. If you want to get that CD set on the mass by Dr. Hahn, call 877-526-2151. If you want to join in on the conversation, that number is 888-526-2151. We'll be right back. CatholicRC.org. Thanks for your donations. Let's have it happen again and again and again. God love you. Welcome back to the Terry and Jesse Show. We joke about it. This is not low-energy Catholic radio. This is high-energy Catholic radio. Why? Because we love Jesus Christ, and we want to share that with everyone who will listen. Especially if you're not Catholic, we'd love to have you pick up some of our literature. We can talk to you after the show if you have questions. This past weekend, we had our first Catholic radio meeting at at the Sacred Heart Chapel. About 50 people showed up, and it was awesome. We had Holy Mass, communion, confessions. Uh, Got the chance to meet people I've never met before. So we do this on the second Saturday of each month. I'd love to see you come next month, the second Saturday, always on the second Saturday of each month. We'd love to have you come to the Sacred Heart Chapel. We're going to have it on our website, so there's a flyer for you for directions, but uh, this is the time to get a spiritual tune-up once a month, and we get to meet you, and you get to meet us. And we're talking today about the breaking news about the Supreme Court Justice Antonio Scalia. He was found dead at 79 over the weekend, and uh, we've talked about his own life and how he was amazing in the sense of he really implemented his Catholic faith uh, so much with stories uh, he's had a great love for his faith, and um, he wasn't afraid to tell people. Even in June, uh, when the dissenting on the, the judgment on the case where the state of Massachusetts barred pro-life sidewalk advocates from exercising their free speech rights within a 35-foot zone of the abortion facilia, 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 uh, Scalia rebuked his colleagues on the bench. Wow! Today's opinion carries forward the court's practice of giving abortion right advocates a pass when it comes to suppressing free speech rights of their opponents and continues the onward march of abortion speech only. I mean, we're going to miss them, everybody. Let's pray not only for a repose of his soul, but that our country picks a, a, a similar Supreme Court justice who will, who will have a similar views because he actually implemented his faith big time. If you'd like to join in about the Pope's visit to Mexico, how strong our Pope has been speaking out against the government of Mexico, calling them, hey, you're 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 abusing your your privileges. You're um, you're you're cheating the people. He's saying things that if a a layman would have said they would be killed, I'm sure, in Mexico. But he's bold in what he's saying. He's calling everybody to Christ. And I respect that. I mean, think about Pope Francis. He's almost 80 years old. And he's preaching like he's 20. Yeah. I mean, he's inspirational. As far as I can see out there, this is unbelievable. If you have a question or a comment about these topics, the Pope's visit, the Supreme Court justice's death, or if you wanted to talk about Lent, because we're going to talk tomorrow about the spiritual aspects of warfare with Lent. And uh, I'm just going to leave you on five benefits for frequent confession, because next week... I'm going to have a pastor here talking about the 24-hour program of confession. What's that? Dioceses are being asked by Pope Francis to have the sacraments made available 
generously. That's what the Code of Canon Law says, too. But when I say generously, they're setting up places where you're going to have 24 hours straight with many priests hearing confessions. That means two in the morning. There's going to be there. There's going to be a priest there to hear your confession. I think it's awesome. But here are some benefits for Lent. If you haven't gone to confession yet, don't wait till the last week of Lent. Here's some things that will help you. Confession helps us uh, to better know thyself. St. Augustine and countless other saints and doctors of the church talk about the importance of knowing ourselves well. Through coming to know ourselves better, we realize how fallen we are. See, and we know how badly we need God's grace to get through life. Frequent confession helps us remind us to rely on God and to rid ourselves of our sins. See, the unexamined life isn't worth living. And that's why confession is essential to the Christian. Number two benefit. And again, I'm giving, these are benefits for confession, but tied into confession and Eucharist. These two sacraments are really closely tied together. And Dr. Hahn did that series for us years ago on how to get the most out of the Mass. I'm asking you, our listener, for Lent, not only to listen to Catholic Radio, but pick up Dr. Hahn's CDs on how to get the most out of the Mass, where he'll teach you so important facts about the Mass that you've never thought before of. And that way, for the rest of your life, Mass will be different. That's how important this set is. Call 877 877- Five two six two one five, and I'll give you the first two copies of CD one. Just pay the shipping and the handling. If you get the whole set, I'll even discount it quite a bit, because I want you to study the mass for Lent. I know you give things up, but what are you giving? Give your time to study the mass with Doctor Hahn, the greatest lay theologian in our church today. That's my opinion. I'm entitled to it. Doctor Hahn taught me so much. Call eight seven seven five two six two one five one. Number two. Confession helps us overcome sin and vice. Anybody want to come over to sin and vice? I do. The grace we receive from the sacrament of confession helps us combat our faults and failings and to break our habits of vice much more easily than we would otherwise do without that grace. We need help. Number three. This is, I say, I'm on your spiritual fitness trainer. I'm giving it. Man, I'm hitting you hard, right? It's hitting me hard. Confession brings us peace. Guilt from our sins that we've committed makes us feel all mixed up inside and causes us to lose our peace and joy. When we hear God's forgiving words to us from the lips of the priest in the confessional, the burden is lifted off our shoulders. Sins weigh us down and enslave us, often giving us our passions power over us. Instead of having control over our passions with the healing power of the sacrament of reconciliation, we can again feel the peace at heart and the soul that comes from being a good relationship with God. This is powerful. What a beautiful sacrament we have. Number four, confession helps us become more saintly. What? Yeah. Like Jesus. Jesus was perfectly humble, perfectly generous, perfectly patient, perfectly loving, perfectly everything. Don't you wish you could be as humble, generous, patient? I do. Loving as Jesus. The saints throughout history have felt that way too. And they frequented the sacraments of reconciliation to help transfer them into people who are more like Christ. Can you imagine what we are called to be? Yeah. Do you know that the Second Vatican Council called us the universal call to holiness? We're all called to be saints. We're just under construction. And here at the Terry and Jesse Show, your spiritual fitness trainers, we're giving you a workout, aren't we? Whoa. Number five. Confession strengthens our will. Sin is in the will. Our time we experience the sacrament of confession, God strengthens our will and our self-control to be able to resist the temptations that confront us in our daily lives. We become more resolute to follow God's will and not our own whims. You remember how I said there's a song they sing in hell and there's a song they sing in heaven? Yeah. The one they sing in hell is, I did it my way. What are they singing in heaven? I did it his way. I want to do it his way. See, that's the key to being a follower of Christ. Give your life to Jesus Christ. And I say, again, I'm going to encourage you all to pick up Scott Hahn's How to Get the Most Out of the Mass. That set has been out for years, and it's helped so many people understand the Mass better. Because the Second Vatican Council calls the Eucharist the source and summit of the Christian life. If we don't understand Mass... 
we're missing out on so much. And I know you know Catholics that go to Mass every Sunday and don't know squat about their religion. We have to change that one soul at a time. And that's why I'm asking you to get at least the two copies of the first CD and share it with your family and friends because I want you to help spread devotion to the Mass, to the Holy Eucharist. Also, earlier in the show, I read 10 things where you can help become better at receiving Holy Communion and what you lose when you don't, when you pass up the opportunity of receiving Holy Communion worthily. If you want to get that, just email Terry, T E R R Y, at Saint, S A I N T, Joe.com. And I'll send that to you automatically. That whole PDF will be with you. I want you to forward it to thousands of people because you know what I'm going to have? I'm on a crusade. You know what it is? A crusade to have people fall in love with Jesus Christ and the Holy Eucharist. Because I'm going to tell you, if we are in love with Jesus Christ and the Eucharist, all these other issues of moral problems in our church, I could have talked about today. Because if we have our faith and we're living our faith, we will be able to handle all of these terrible things that are happening in the world today. And the world will be better off when more and more Christians are living out the spiritual works of mercy, and they're living out their Catholic faith. That's my take. That's why I took this hour to talk on spiritual topics that help you fall deeper in love with Jesus Christ and his bride, the church. One last little comment. Jesse will be back tomorrow. I mentioned this. I'm doing a seminar now starting next month called Light the Fire Evangelization at Your Parish. How to share your faith with anyone. I want to come to your parish and fire the troops up because you know what? We have a sleeping giant right now, and I think you would agree. If you want me to come, just call the 877-526-2151. I, uh, I would be delighted to come and share the gospel and fire the troops up because we need a sleeping giant to be awoken, and that's what Catholic Radio is doing right now. I hear so many good things from priests telling me that more confessions are being heard because of Catholic Radio, and I want to thank you and thank Immaculate Heart Radio to allowing me to speak the truth about my Catholic faith on the radio. Folks, it's always a pleasure. I remind you that if you're married, make a recommitment to your wife. Renew your marriage vows because Bishop Sheen said it well. Your love for your wife will not last because you are strong. It will last because you have the power to renew it. And everybody else, married or not married, every day ask Jesus Christ for more faith. Try that for Lent and then have it continue all year round, your faith will grow if you ask Jesus Christ for more faith. Don't forget, tomorrow, I'm going to be talking about the early Lenten meditations on spiritual warfare with Monsignor Charles Pope. If you want to get the CD giveaway today, I'm here. Call me, 877-526-2151, and I'd be honored to get you those CDs. If you just give me a call, I'll be happy to do that with you. May God richly bless you and your family. And I hope tomorrow when we're back on that we'll be able to tell where tomorrow we'll have our talk on the spiritual life with spiritual warfare. So let's go full sheen ahead. God love you. <laughs>